On the first quarter sales worksheet, we've been working in sales information in the last step, step 16. We're now going to go to the third tab on the auto sales sheet and workbook, and we're gonna make it a little bit bigger so we can see what's happening. And um, it wants us to rename the table. So I'm gonna go ahead and highlight my table. And then I'm gonna head on over to design. So as you can see, the table tools has appeared and I have design and right here it's named first, but it wants us to name first quarter. You don't want a space, you do want a capital. You could retype first quarter or just add quarter after first and you want to hit the enter key and then save and make sure that your table name is still appearing. That's the end of step 17. Step 18. Go through the data to display January, February, and March sales. Right now, we have a date sold, and so we're gonna click our pull-down menu, and you can see we've had all the months selected right here below. So I just deselect, select all, so none of the months are here showing, and then it asks us to use January, February, and March. And so we have just these three months selected, no others, and then we say OK. Our data is decreased down to about 10 rows, and that's the end of step 18. I'm going to save. Step 19, add a footer. This is very similar to what we did in step 8. Actually, it's the same, but we're adding this information for the first quarter sales. So I'm gonna come to page layout. I like to go to margins. You can also click here on page setup, but I, for whatever reason, go all the way down to custom margins. I enjoy telling my students there's always seven different ways to do the exact same thing in any office software. So we go to header footer, we pick custom header, and then we have our three selections. It asks us to put our first and last name. You should be typing your first and last name. Hit the tab key, and then it says find the sheet name code, which is the third icon from the end. You can hover your mouse over the icons and it will tell you what each one stands for. Then I hit tab and it asks us to include the file name code. Click that in the right section, click OK. You can see a print preview of how it will show on the bottom of your sheet and say all right. I save at the end of step 19 and we're gonna go on down to step 20. Select landscape orientation for all sheets. I'm gonna click on my first quarter sales tab. I'm gonna come up to orientation and I'm gonna click landscape. And then I'm going to go to my second tab, sales information. I'm gonna to go to page layout, orientation, and again, click landscape. And then finally, I'm going to go to fleet information, which are our first tab, go to orientation and landscape, and again, I will save. And that's the end of step 20. Step 21, save the workbook and submit to my IT lab for grading. The end of step 21.